So very pleasant morning to all the students of class plus to see uh, after giving a big moral lecture to you all. Uh, let's start uh, our day with the formal invitation. So uh, one of the important writing skills because in the short compositions, this is there. So definitely this is going to be there in the exam. So formal invitations, informal invitations, formal replies, informal replies. We have done all four categories, but during the offline classes, so online students who never would come to school, they have not done this, fine. And this is uh, uh, only you just concentrate upon formal invitations. We will not talk about replies today. Okay, we will just do invitation. So what is an invitation? Uh, when we invite someone on birthday party, when we invite someone on some marriage ceremony of our family members, fine, your sibling is getting married, you want to draft an invitation card for that then inaugural ceremony of your new shop uh, and uh, even it can be housewarming ceremony you just build up a new house new building accordingly fine so invitations can be sent for any of the occasions fine it can be n number of other occasions also i just named a few of them okay so formal invitations are actually we will be drafting a formal invitation card so for that, I will be making you write few value points, okay, then uh, that what should be there in your invitation, in your formal invitation, clear? So now two things are there, formal invitation can be sent to an individual person, means you are asked to draft an individual, uh, uh, an invitation card, to send to an individual person or any VIP that is very important person like uh, some highly designated person you are inviting on some uh, function or you are also suppose you're having some annual meet you're the principal of the school you want to invite some director of some institute you want to invite some uh, politician or whosoever so individual person ke liye alak se invitation card hota hai. fine so it can be for uh, you can say a group of people, clear? Or for, uh, you can say a general invitation card to be meant to send to all, fine? For all people, individual also, and for masses. Masses means more people, a group of people, clear? Like you, uh, your sister is getting married and you are getting an invitation card done. And you will distribute that same card to all the, uh, you can say, people or relatives. For all the relatives, one card. So in that way, for masses, one card and for individuals. But, you know, format is almost the same. The only thing is you add the name of that VIP person, that individual person into your card. Clear? So formal invitations are of two types. Firstly, uh, let's discuss the value points that what should be there, please note down. I will see your notebooks in between. So very first value point, uh, a formal invitation is normally better. It is written in single sentence. You do not need to split it in by using like multiple sentences are not there. So it is a, generally it is uh, written in single sentence invitation okay or it is written in single sentence then secondly use third person only what do you mean by third person i'll discuss already told you you will not use the word i i'm going to invite you fine uh, you will be using third person only meaning uh, of this third person is you will see uh, that uh, suppose your name is Mr. Pramod Kumar. Mr. Pramod Kumar invites Mr. Suresh Nanda, director of uh, DAV Institute. Fine, in that way. You will not write that I invite you and all that stuff. Clear? Sorry for the disturbance. So, uh, clear? Is it clear, Vita? Keep on uh, sending your response. So third person means you will not write I, okay? That Mr. So-and-so person invites. He, he, you will be using the pronoun he, fine? Third person you will be using 
while addressing that person clear then after that third value point please keep on noting side by side everyone and specifically the students who never show their notebook there are students who write for the sake today i am going to uh, see all the notebooks but specifically i am naming the child divyalin your notebook i would like to see gaurav harnoor singh then uh we have samyak jain you also show to me today kartik ansh kataria anushka chandan tanubha youtube and uh, srishti and anshul vij if he is there then okay so these students will definitely show rest of the students will also show clear so use a third person clear single sentence it is clear now next point is and uh, you know uh, what should be there it will be firstly uh, mentioning the name of the host it should be there at the top i am going to tell you the order fine in which we write name of the host or organizer of the event should be at the top fine then use formal phrases only now what do you mean by formal phrases you will not use that i would like to invite you on this function you are supposed to come no no don't be informal in that way so use formal phrases like uh, name of the host mr suresh lal nanda solicit your benign presence you seek your heavenly presence you might have seen any invitation card of the marriages so it is written they have used a formal language only so you will be inviting the person particular person or masses together sabko group ko uh, you will be using formal phrases you can use solicit your i will show you one screen and there you can note down the words which you can use okay solicit your benign presence seek your heavenly presence fine in that way you will be using formal words for inviting that person after that comes name or names ek person hai ya zyada person hai or masses hai of invitee means to whom you are inviting on the occasion clear so name or names of the invitee then then all the w's to be answered beta w's here means big w i'm going to write bold letter me now this w means you need to answer these thing uh firstly uh what is the occasion fine where when and who is invited you have already mentioned clear so this is also one of the w's whom you have who has invited whom actually clear so w you need not uh, you need not forget this letter uh who has invited whom fine name of the host and invitee should be there who has invited whom that should be there and then what is the occasion occasion single s okay what is the occasion where when fine means name of the occasion venue and timing these three things should be answered in your invitation fine what is the occasion where it is and when so that the person to whom you have invited can reach there obviously you get a card and when there is no destination where will you go obviously you got some place fine and time and at that time you will be mentioning here okay this is the logical order and after that if any other information any other important information suppose you you have uh, you know kept address code for your function uh, black for the boys and black for the men and red for the women or girls accordingly suppose you have particular timing suppose you are, it, it is annual function guests are requested to be seated by 8 am fine 
or you are supposed to bring your invitation cards along with any important information to be written after the whole invitation is done clear so this is the place where you will add one line any other important information so this is the way clear and after this when everything is done all the points are covered at last you will write rsvp name of the host and phone number or mobile number clear or phone number of the host obviously not of someone else is that clear rsvp means reply to the invitation to whom you have invited that person can reply to you find reply to the host and phone number is given so that that person can contact you for, for confirming his or her presence that whether he or she will be coming to the function or not for that purpose rsvp is there okay respond to the invitation name of the host and phone number clear it can be uh, any other in in a organization it can be some manager also it can be some suppose host is principal of the school and here rsvp me principal bhi likh sakte ho or you can write manager or you can write staff secretary or you can write cultural secretary if any competition is there in that way is that clear beta please note down jaldi se and show me your notebooks jinhone kar liye i'm going to uh, change the view chaliye jaldi se शो मी द नोटबुक जिन्होंने वैल्यू पॉइंट्स लिख लिए हैं सुखमनजोत वंशिका गौरव सृष्टि अनुष्का गाना गुचित हैज आल्सो रिटन व्हाट अबाउट अदर स्पेसिफिकली आई नेम्ड सम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे स्पेसिफिकली आई नेम्ड अंश कटारिया यस गौरव आई कुड सी योर नोटबुक काक्षी वेयर इज योर्स अंश सुहानी चंदन फतेह सिंह अंशुल विज प्रभनूर कार्तिक अभिरू कपिल लूथर नो बडी हैज मी द नोटबुक यस कार्तिक इज आल्सो नोटिंग डाउन दैट्स गुड व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स बेटा प्लीज नोट डाउन वी आर डूइंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइटिंग स्किल आई होप टू सी यू ऑल सून लाइक वाई आर दिस मोड ओनली मे बी यू माइट have not noted if you have taken it casually again i am asking you to bring your notebooks and start drafting the invitation now we are switching to invitations now let's do these points are done i'm going to erase it kyunki i need a board to uh, draft that invitation okay no problem kakshi if you uh, have some problem it's okay i know that you in the class also you would do it now you uh, now also you're doing that's good okay uh let's continue better done shall i erase it if anybody has not you can take the screenshot of the screen i'm uh, standing aside if you need to uh, note down clear now we are going to do formal invitation to invite a particular person today individual ko kaise invite karte hain suppose aapne kisi person ko invite karna hai how to invite that person okay done let's continue now now i'm going to draw a box use a scale while drawing the box do not draw free hand box it will not look nice it looks quite shabby fine so rectangular box hoega aapka please use the scale it should be a big rectangular box you can use another page of your notebook if you do not have the space on the same page go to another page but it should be a fine 
बॉक्स नीचे से अभी क्लोज मत करना बिकॉज यू डू नॉट नो हाउ मच कॉन्टेंट टू बी रिटर्न देयर ओके सो यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देयर एंड वेन यूर वर्क इज डन देन यू क्लोज द बॉक्स दिस इज द स्मॉल टिप ओके सो दैट इट लुक्स नाइस फाइन नाउ द थिंग इज how you will be uh, writing the formal invitation always remember it is a centrally aligned what do you mean by centrally aligned because this is formal invitation you will be writing uh you know it should be suppose one word is there you will write one word in the center if two words you scatter that Three, four, five. Suppose there are ten words, and you will write in the whole line. Chai wo idhar se start okay, right tak jai. No problem. But whatever is there, it should be centrally aligned. The way we have invitation cards, fine on birthdays and marriages and all. So let's start drafting uh, the formal invitation. Now I would like to firstly share the screen with you all. Please see this thing. is it visible to you all beta visible a screen sabko please respond okay so you see that the box is there it is very light in uh, lines aapko agar dikh rahi hai to it is in the box only and it is centrally aligned the principal staff and teacher so it is an invitation from the school side to invite some guests to become the uh, you can say one of the judges or to judge some event ठीक है तो एक पर्सन को इनवाइट करने के लिए ये इनविटेशन है दिस इज फॉर्मल इनविटेशन इसमें गलती भी है आई विल टेल यू व्हाट इज द यू कैन से दे हैव डन रॉन्ग थिंग यू विल यू विल आल्सो पॉइंट इट आउट सो द प्रिंसिपल स्टाफ एंड टीचर सो बिकॉज दे आर द होस्ट सो नेम ऑफ द होस्ट टू बी रिटर्न द वेरी फर्स्ट लाइन इट कैन बी वन नेम इट कैन बी मल्टीपल नेम्स द वे दे हैव रिटर्न डेजिग्नेशंस द प्रिंसिपल यू कैन सी पी कैपिटल एस कैपिटल टी कैपिटल do not write a, in a small first letter should be capital of all the names of hosts the principal staff and teachers then jo preposition hai of wo next line mein likhoge yahan pe nahi likhoge of then now beta inhone ek cheez ye nahi ki you can you know use your calligraphy skills here or you can uh, use two lines to highlight or bold letters to highlight the name of the school name of the person to whom you are inviting और नेम ऑफ दी ओकेजन ठीक है मैं आपको अभी बोर्ड पे करके दिखाऊंगी हाउ टू डू इट क्लियर सो द प्रिंसिपल स्टाफ एंड टीचर दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द होस्ट ऑफ कौन सी जगह के होस्ट हैं मेंशन दैट सनराइज पब्लिक स्कूल देन आई टोल्ड यू फॉर्मल वर्डिंग यू हैव टू यूज फॉर्मल फ्रेजेस टेक प्लेजर इन इनवाइटिंग फाइन यर सॉलिस द बिनाइन प्रेजेंट सीक द हेवनली प्रेजेंस फाइन इन दैट वे टेक प्लेजर इन इनवाइटिंग Noted stage artist. तो कुछ adjectives लगा दिए उन्होंने to praise that person because this is the one person they are going to invite. Fine in inviting noted stage artist, Miss Nalini, to grace the one act play competition. Why that person is invited? To grace the one act play competition. It means she is going to uh, be the part of uh, judgment of that one act play competition because she is stage artist. Obviously, that's why. सिंगिंग कॉम्पिटिशन होता तो कोई सिंगर को बुलाते फाइन एक्टिंग का है तो किसी एक्टर को बुला रहे इन द स्कूल ऑडिटोरियम नाउ ऑल दंसर्स विद अवेयर वेन एट वट टाइम ओके ऐसे ही लिखोगे इन द स्कूल ऑडिटोरियम नेक्स्ट लाइन में ऑन ट्यूजडे डे भी लिखना है डेट भी लिखनी है ऑन ट्यूजडे फाइन इन दैट वे डेट फ्रॉम एट थर्टी एम टू इलेवन ए एम ये आर एस वी पी इज रॉन्ग हेयर यहाँ पे आर एस वी पी नहीं आता है क्लियर आई टोल्ड यू बस ए एम तक है यहां तक बस फाइन सो आपका जो सेंटर में हो जाएगा फ्रॉम एट थर्टी ए एम टू इलेवन ए एम नेक्स्ट लाइन आएगी अवेटिंग अ फेवरेबल रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम योर एंड सो दिस इज एनी एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन आई टोल्ड यू एनी लाइन कैन बी देर If it is meant for masses, then you will be writing, "Be seated by this uh, time. Bring your invitation card. One person per invitation card is allowed only. Fine. So anything you can add, just one line. Ye na oki three four lines likhne bade. So no, this is not allowed. Okay. So uh, after this, uh, again, beta, you can take notes of this thing also. How to write? The last line, awaiting a favorable response from your end. 
आर एस वी पी करुणा कल्चरल सेक्रेटरी नीचे उसका फोन नंबर फाइन मीन्स किसको रिस्पॉन्ड करना है मिस uh, नलनी को अपना कंफर्मेशन देने के लिए मिस करुणा कल्चरल सेक्रेटरी जो वहां की स्कूल की हेड है एक्टिविटी इंचार्ज है कल्चरल सेक्रेटरी इट इज एन फोन नंबर ओके so that whether if she is not coming even then they can call someone else so this is the particular invitation card meant for this person only ye kisi aur ke ghar nahi jayega sirf this miss nalini will receive it is that clear to you all any doubt no doubt is there is that okay shall we start our invitation now so now you will also draft with me so write down one statement beta write down and uh, now we are going to draft invitation card for masters like for to, to be giving uh, suppose you want to give it to all clear you are principal of you are principal of apex senior secondary school please note down we will do this on board you are the principal of apex senior secondary school shimla you are the principal of apex senior secondary school comma shimla the school has completed 25 years the school has completed 25 years of successful services to the society 25 years of its 25 years of its successful services to the society the silver jubilee celebrations the silver jubilee celebrations please note down the silver jubilee celebrations are to be held on the silver jubilee celebrations are to be held on 2 sunday 2 sunday, 23rd january 2022 The Silver Jubilee celebrations are to be held on Sunday, comma, twenty third January, twenty twenty two. Draft a suitable invitation. Draft a suitable invitation to be sent to. Draft a suitable invitation to be sent to. important dignitaries of the city draft a suitable invitation to be sent to important dignitaries d i g n i t a r i e s dignitaries means important um, uh, those uh, important personalities of the city fine important dignitaries of the city and the parents of the students and the parents of the students fine so this we are going to draft for this first of all host is the parents uh, sorry host is the principal staff and students once again okay so in in the you will start from this side the principal comma staff and students you can see सेंट्रली अलाइन जितना इधर से जगह छोड़नी है उधर ही उतनी से छोड़नी है क्लियर इट शुड लुक नाइस द प्रिंसिपल स्टाफ एंड स्टूडेंट ऑफ नाउ आई टोल्ड यू यू कैन चेंज यू विल नॉट यूज कलर ओके वाइल यूजिंग दिस पेन के साथ ही करना है आपको दिस इन्विटेशन बट यू कैन चेंज द फॉन्ट साइज एंड बोल्ड लेटर्स यू कैन यूज नाउ यू कैन हाईलाइट द नेम ऑफ द स्कूल ऑफ एपिक्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल शिमला
Fine, in that way. Apex International Clear? The principal staff and students of Apex International School. Now, beta, you will be using uh, formal phrases to invite. Fine. Uh, solicit your benign presence. Benign means heavenly only. Solicit means they are demanding, they are seeking. Solicit your benign presence. Now, where you will be? Mentioning that on the occasion of, fine, on the occasion of Silver Jubilee celebrations. Now, Silver Jubilee celebrations also you will highlight. Occasion, always remember spelling of occasion is CC and single S. Two lines may be like Bada bada karke bold letters me. Silver Jubilee celebrations of their school. Bell ho chuki, but please two minutes may finish karlo. Of their school on. Now you need to mention day date time. Ek line may be kar sakte. And when you also when you next line may kar diya at the School Auditorium. Fine. Now you can, uh, in the extra information, what to write? You can mention the name of the person who will be the special guest, okay, or who will be presiding over. Mr. Somnath, the founder of the school, will be presiding over the function. You line add karlo. Koi bhi name likliya. Mr. S. Nanda. Bracket me likho, founder of the school, bracket band, fine, will be presiding over the function. Clear? Ye extra information me aagya. And then RSVP. In RSVP, you can write principal also because principal staff and students have invited because this is to be sent to all dignitaries. Bahut notable people ko ja raha hai. That's why principal uh, is the whole, you can say, uh, we are writing the name and phone number you can write landline number also in this way fine so number is given please show me your notebooks those who have done jaldi se bell ho chuki hai those who have done very good sukmanjot please note down uh, only then it will be very good so some more, most of the students, I guess, might have done for their own sake. So I'm going to beta end this meet with this. Please do join this uh, another period, uh, sixth period also. In that we will be continuing the uh, invitations and replies only. Today we will do informal invitations in that. Okay, have a nice day.